What's up, MVBs? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got ourselves MVB day. That's right. I'm doing three MVB videos in one day because I was late. And also I want to say thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel. That being said, one of the winners was Issues with their song Princeton Avenue. And uh, yeah, so this was one of the winners of the Patreon poll. I'm excited to be checking this out because Issues was a band that took a couple songs for me to really get into. But holy shit, I really love their new album. I checked out some stuff from uh, the album with Hooligan, uh, with their early album. I don't know if this was on it too. Uh, but I, I really don't think I've heard this song. I've never seen this video, but with issues, I dig them. I really don't know too much of their back catalog, so this is perfect. Uh, that being said, I think that's all we need for chit chat. So let's fuck do it. Go. Really nice piano line. Did not expect that at all. What is a man? Yeah, I'm digging the double pick pattern. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. Give me those zeros, let's go. Okay, so this is the chorus, okay. Ooh, okay. Oh. Constant changes in the rhythms. Hit that China. Ooh. Okay, okay. Adding some flair. Oh yeah, I, I knew that they added some like techno stuff into the early stuff. Hey Justin Timberlake. There we go. <laughs> <Choo! laughs> Alright, that was pretty fun. Honestly, I did not know that it was an emotional music video, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was just feeling the song. 
Okay, so issues Princeton Avenue. So that's pretty much going back in time. Like that's 2013. So it's kind of a product of its time. Uh, that being said, let's go through the pros and cons. So pros number one, Tyler Carter is such a phenomenal vocalist and it's such a unique voice in the metalcore realm. And I know that in one of my early videos, Metal Babe said that sound like Johnny Craig. And that's just because it's easy to compare it to other vocalists that are similar to the R&B kind of style. But Tyler Carter definitely has his own style. Uh, don't get me wrong there with my very early video. Uh, yeah, so, you know, his pop R&B style is so unique for the scene that it's such a highlight. Without him, this could sound very generic metalcore, actually. Um, you know, with him, it really separates issues from other bands and only seeing them evolve with a beautiful oblivion and kind of like changing up their style even more and making it more mature and bringing more R&B elements to their music just seems to work. So going back to this, it's definitely old school, but yeah, Tyler Carter is a standout. Um, guitar work, I appreciate all the rhythms. It, it's definitely all about the zeros. There's a good amount of like bends on the one and stuff, but it really is all about the zeros. But there's enough chugs and cool rhythms where like they let the palm mutes open and ring out or um, and then they also like, you know, they they stop it or also they like do the open fat open notes kind of breakdown so there's good variety in all the breakdowns like nothing ever repeated itself too much um but yeah it was definitely over reliance on zeros which hey that's what it is metal metalcore is about that i'm and like it still is like what like eight years now eight years or so and they we're still doing the same thing pretty much uh, but yeah, and another thing I like is obviously um, the, the piano at the beginning, but I, I like the keyboard and synth work. You know, it's a little bit cheesy and it's definitely another thing that's a product of its time because back in that era, it was uh, metalcore was loaded with like techno kind of synth work and like, I don't know, the word alive and stuff like that, abandon all ships. Um, so it was, it's definitely fun. It has like definitely fun character to it and just adding more texture to the music, which is always also appreciated you know to make them stand out even more uh but it's hard to take it a little bit serious you know that sound of another thing that's good is also you know the mix of harsh and clean vocals and i like you know the mix of um kind of like good cop bad cop i don't know if it was too much on that because what i mean by good cop and bad cop is when there's two the harsh vocalist and clean vocalist but they're going back and forth and not relying on the verses and the choruses and i think there was a little bit of that I might have to go back to it because I actually don't think there was much of that actually. You know, when Tyler Carter came in, it definitely was during the chorus and like the intro and stuff. Uh, verses were heavy with the harsh vocals. So maybe actually I'm kind of wrong about that. But I, I like the harsh vocals. It's very standard metalcore affair. And cons. Cons is actually, it's a product of its time. And what I mean by that, going back to this, um, it's not something that I can listen to. You can definitely appreciate for what it was, you know, if you grew up listening to issues with, you know, this sound, you loved it and it holds a special place to you. But um, knowing issues now and knowing all the um, metal that I do know now, going back to this is definitely old school and it um, doesn't really hold up for me. You know, there's a lot of the, the cliches, like I said, the synth work and stuff and those kind of breakdown six string kind of rhythm patterns are very typical. So it's not doing too much for me. And was there bass? Was there bass? I, I don't think so. I, I don't think I heard bass. Again, typical metalcore affair. So I guess that's another thing. It's just like this is very by the books metalcore, but obviously Tyler Carter helped play a big role into making it like separate themselves from other bands. But for what it is, it generally is kind of standard by the books metalcore. Um, I definitely prefer the new issues a lot more, you know, going back to it, it really doesn't do much for me uh, because, you know, the scene constantly evolves. And if I'm just going back, like it doesn't really do too much, you know, for bands that were kind of imitating each other's sounds. You know, this sounds like a bunch of other Rise bands during that era. But yeah, guys, that's my thoughts on issues. Princeton Avenue, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. So comment down below, spice up my life. What'd you guys think of this tune? I know I'm going to get a bunch of issues fans. What do you think about my opinion? Am I completely wrong? I prefer the stuff from Beautiful Oblivion. And I just appreciate the, uh, the progression from this band. They're, you know, they're pushing boundaries a little bit more and getting more mature with their style, uh, which works for, you know, the band kind of like evolving and needing to adapt. Also, if you got to this point in the video and you haven't clicked off yet, I appreciate the shit out of you. <laughs> Follow that. Thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace. The one, the
You've got up your best friend till the day you were nine. 